The film is really a slice of life. So you get, you know, like a peek into Paula and Bradley's life. And there is this loss of connection between Paula and Bradley. For me, it was a story about love and it's a story about newly, you know, newlyweds wanting to do everything and just like realizing that sometimes you won't be able to do everything. And how do you adjust with that? How do you cope with that? People in general, they hope that their child is going to, you know, come out with all their toes, all their, you know, fingernails and all of that. But um, one thing that you can't really prepare for is when something isn't developing correctly. I think when you're raising a child with special needs, you understand that the role will not always appreciate your child the way you would. I'm a lot like Bradley in the sense that, I mean, I just personally myself got married three years ago um, and I know what it feels like to want something and to know the way that something is supposed to turn out. It, it was something that I could relate to and something that, you know, I've got a lot of friends who do have autism or who have family members who have autism. And unfortunately, the stories that are being told today that surround you know, autistic characters are in a lot of ways very unrealistic. What's important for people to understand is with this story, there is no victim, there is no bad guy or good guy. As a producer, one of the things that I really wanted to come across in the story is just, again, an authenticity. And one of the more important ways of doing that is making sure that you have actors who not only understand the story being told, but who do have some sort of connection to it. As I continued to research, and then I was able to have the chance to talk to people, I just kept digging. There's one thing to use my own assumptions and my own uh, dramaturgical research, you know, me reading and watching documentaries, but there's it's something different when you actually talk to somebody in person. Um, and you can feel their emotions. I wanted to have our child actor, uh, Harlem, sort of focus in on something, banging the toys together. I wanted to focus on uh, the lights that were coming from the toys. I wanted to focus on a lot of sensory uh, elements um, to kind of help shape what it looks like for an autistic child. I think what's really gonna surprise people about this story in watching this film is that it's a very authentic lens into these people's lives. It's a slice of life story you're being dropped in right as something's happening and it very genuinely is just this couple figuring things out as they go along. I think this film is for the families. More than anything, they would be excited or happy to see that this story is being told on the big screen. That that's an important message for anybody to hear, you know, autistic child or not, uh, married or not. It's like sometimes you'll come across a really tough spot and the, the, the goal is to keep working through it. If you are someone who wants a fairy tale, happy ending, this story isn't necessarily that. It's an honest, genuine glimpse into the struggles that families have or that different types of relationships have that the strain autism can cause. And I think that, that that's another point that people can, can connect to. It's just like there's this hope in, in the face of adversity, you know. There's this family that's even though they're, they're kind of going at it, they're still trying to make it happen because they believe that it can happen. What I want people to take away from this film is just a story of hope, a story of love. It's a very universal concept. You know, I mean, yes, this, this story is for the families that are raising children with special needs, but it's also for people who just believe in love.